Virgo. I am here to do your reading for you for the week. I've already shuffled the cards, but I'm going to go ahead and do it one more time. And please only take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. Okay. Let's see what spirit animal would like to come out for you during this time. Oh, looks like the parrot spirit wanted to come out. Okay. And the parrot spirit says, watch your words. All right. And please remember, if you are close to somebody, I could be picking up on their energies instead of yours. Okay. Now let's see what Moonology card I'd like to come out to you. Look at the bigger picture. All right. Okay. Let's see what your overall energy is going to be. I can shuffle them. Okay. And if you like this reading, please give it a like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Any or all of it will help the channel to grow, and I would really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, let's take this one. The Page of Air. Logical, perceptive, insightful, blunt. An exciting intellectual challenge, brilliant insights, information that you need but might be challenging to receive. Review all documents carefully. And I find this interesting that it's coming out next to the watch your words because this energy it says it can be blunt. Hmm. So that might be a good thing to do during this time frame. <laughs> Think about what you say before you say it, maybe. And make for sure that it's coming out exactly the way you want it to. Okay. Let's get, well, very first one. Barely had a chance to shuffle. It's beautiful energy. The Nine of Cups, which means you are very happy and content with your life. So that's beautiful. Let's get another card. Virgo, please, in their highest good. The star. That is a wonderful energy. Okay? And there's a few things they say about the star. One is to make a wish. You're supposed to wish upon the star. And another is that that is a good omen. And the star talks about it being a powerful time for inspired action channeled through your authentic self and that part's important so stay true to yourself have faith and trust in the universe and if you can do that you will share in its gifts and blessings okay and when i'm looking at that i you know it, my eye keeps going to the look at the bigger picture so there might be something to that Okay, let's get one more card. Beautiful. You have the will of fortune. So this means the will of fortune is turning in your favor. It's a new beginning. A fortunate new beginning. That's beautiful. And again, just like I said with this card, I can't help but look at this card. Look at the bigger picture. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is all about 
the truth. That's extremely important to her. Matter of fact, that is her to me. You're determined, resilient, and smart. And that also, you know, sounds a little bit like your overall energy. But it would because this is a precursor to the queen. You think more than you feel. And you won't tolerate lies. Okay? You want the truth. Okay. It's kind of an interesting combination of cards. So let's go a little bit deeper and see what we can find out. You have the King of Cups, which is an absolutely beautiful energy. The King of Cups is a master of his inner and outer worlds. He feels all of his emotions, but he controls them. They do not control him. He is also very trustworthy. Okay, so he's a wonderful energy. The devil flipped right out. Okay. So that is saying that there is something in your life that is to your detriment. And you need to remove it. Okay. These chains that bind you, you can see how they are deliberately very loose. You can just take them off. It's simple to do. Doesn't mean it's easy. But that's what you need to do. You need to remove it from your life. Unless it is representing a Capricorn. And if it's re representing a Capricorn, that's all it's meaning. That, you know, it's a Capricorn. But if it is the devil, then that means something is going on in your life. It could be a variety of things. It could be addictions. You know. It could be, most likely, a type of thought that you are having. Like, too much stress or fear about something. And it's, to me, no coincidence that it came out right next to the King of Cups because oftentimes it is a way of thinking that is not to your benefit, okay? That is actually to your detriment. Like I said, fears, stress, worry, that sort of thing. And here's the King of Cups who's in total control of his emotions. We will take a card on that. Let's get another card first. Whoa. Well, we just had some fly right out. Let me pick those up. Okay, this is what came out. A new beginning. A new, potentially lucrative beginning. Okay. This is one where you have an idea or a project in mind, something along that line, and you decide to go for it, new beginning. So there's this new opportunity that is available to you, and it has the potential to be lucrative and abundant. Okay, so it's a wonderful new beginning. And it's where you will manifest your goals in a very tangible and real way. Okay, and here, what also came out with it was the Three of Swords. And that is where you have been hurt in some fashion. And only you will know. We can take a card on it, and maybe that will give us some enlightenment. But, well, where you will be hurt... Sometimes I speak in past tense. Sorry about that. Some of these things could have already happened or are currently happening or will happen. Okay? So I don't know if this has happened yet or not. It might very well have. But I would say this is definitely attached to the devil energy. Okay? And at the bottom of the deck, you have 
another new beginning. And this is the Ace of Cups. So this new beginning, you are filled with love, joy, and happiness. And the potential to be extremely abundant for you, which is beautiful. Okay? So let's take a couple of clarifying cards. One for the devil. And one for the three of swords. And you know, um, the ace of pentacles, it doesn't really surprise me because here, you know, you already know you're having this new beginning and it's the will of fortune. So this fits in perfectly with that. Okay, so let's take a card for the devil. See what we get. King of Swords. So what that would say to me is um, somebody was not being truthful to you. Okay. That's what that would say to me. Yeah. There were myths, truths, lies, something like that. Something where somebody was trying to mislead you. Okay. It could also be Potentially, only you will know this, that maybe you were misleading yourself. You know, say if you had a lot of concerns about something, create a lot of worry, a lot of stress. But those weren't really the truth. It was just you stressing over them. You know, that has potential as well. And over here you have the Queen of Swords, who's all about the truth. Okay, just thought I'd mention that to you. Okay. Whoa, <laughs> this one took no time to jump out. The Nine of Wands. I was taking it to clarify the Three of Swords. This is where you are protecting something. You're defending something to the point of potentially being injured. Okay, and again, this is something you will know, not me. So... It, to me, what I said about this can actually apply to this as well. It could be something that happened that hurt you. And over here, I was talking about, since it was the King of Swords, somebody potentially lying to you or misleading you. You know, something that wasn't direct, honest, but something that was a little um, potentially wrong, lying, that kind of thing. And so to me, these two go hand in hand. But like I said, it's also got the potential that you've been very stressed over something. And, you know, that can create, if it goes far enough, which it looks like it might have because you have three new beginnings, create something where you start believing in something and it's because of the stresses involved or the fears, the worry, okay? And so again, like I said, this is something you will know. Either it's from an outside source or something that you've been stressed, worried, fretting over, all right? But it, either way, you have the King of Cups here, which is saying, you know, deal with whatever this is and be in control of your emotions. And it's creating this beautiful new beginning. So that makes me think you are definitely getting this under control, whatever it is, from an outside source or inside your head, either way, you are dealing with it to the point that it's creating a beautiful, most likely lucrative new beginning. And this card can also bring fame if that is something that you desire. But it looks like um, the end result here is you are going to be very content, okay? Very happy. And now don't forget the um, cards up here. Look at the bigger picture, which I do believe that that is probably part of what created or is creating this change. You do step outside of your head and look at the bigger picture and realize change needs to happen. And remember, watch your words. 
And now this energy, logical, perceptive, insightful, blunt, and an exciting intellectual challenge, brilliant insights. So this brilliant insights part makes me think that you, whether it was an outside or inside, you figure this out, okay? And you create the change. Information that you need but might be challenging to receive, which is also most likely, I'd say, part of this. And it says review all documents carefully. Okay. So, the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new lucrative cycle that's filled with love and contentment. Okay. So it's actually, while there are challenges there, the end result is lovely. Okay, this jumped right out. And this is where you have choices to make, okay? And I usually say, don't just go out there and pick that pretty shiny thing. You need to do your research. But, you know, being this overall energy, I have no doubt that you would do your research. And if it ends up being a pretty shiny thing, that's right and awesome. But do your research and find out what choice or choices are best for you. And that's what you want to pick. Ooh, this one jumped out. The magician. It's a beautiful energy. The magician is letting you know that you have everything you need with you and within you to create the change that you want to create. Create your reality. And you have everything you need to do it. All right? So it's saying, it's an action card. Take action to create this change. Don't sit back and wait for the change to happen. Be a part of the change. Okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. And you had these two cards, or three, pop out. No room. Okay, no room. I think I will move these over. Okay, you have these three. The Empress. And what that says is that abundance flows to you. Okay, it's an absolutely beautiful energy. She is the mother archetype. The energy will just flow to you. So that's wonderful. And I'm sure that's once you have your new beginning. It's a few different times made references to abundance. So it's just confirming it. And here, I'm sure this is also after your new beginning. Okay? Looks just like this wheel of fortune that he's holding in his hands, which is the world. And it's saying, yeah, now you're just looking how to go from where you were to where you want to be. It's the process of change. And the very last card that came out is the Fool. And that is telling you that you are having a new beginning, which makes, what, four new beginnings? <laughs> um, but this one, I love this one. It is saying you need to have fun. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy the process of change. Okay? It's very important and we all should do this, and we, you know, do too much adulting. We don't take time to have fun. But it's saying new opportunities and beginnings are available to you now. So be open-minded and curious, ready to explore and discover new things. Play and have fun and be spontaneous, okay? So that is a beautiful message, I think, to end this on. Do try to have fun and enjoy this process because it looks like, yeah, while this is challenging, it's gone. And what's coming in is absolutely beautiful. You have these choices to make. Have fun making them. Have fun creating your new life. Okay, now let's get a turn. And I don't look in. This is where the universe teases me when they want to tease me. No, look. It's saying that the angels are with you. 
helping to guide you through this. So that's absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. I hope this reading helps. Much love.